This is my dose two of my COVID-19 vaccine vlog. Okay, so I am especially nervous about dose two because I have had a lot of friends that have received it and had fairly adverse reactions. One of my teacher friends said that about a day or two later, she started experiencing nausea and was vomiting a lot. I will take anything but that. I'm heading over to the middle school around four o'clock this afternoon and I really, really hope that whatever I have, whatever reactions I have will be minimal. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Hey all, I just came back from my run. It's kind of a kind of a gloomy day, but it's not too bad. It was sprinkling just a little bit, but the sun is trying to come out and it'll be so nice to see the sun since um, it was cloudy all day yesterday and all this morning and it was raining actually. So anyway, uh, but in about an hour and 10 minutes, my dad is gonna pick me up. He's gonna take me to get my vaccine and I am, I, I'm, I'm kind of flipping out to be honest. I'm gonna go ahead and head upstairs, um, take a quick shower and start getting ready. All right. I took my shower and I am gonna start getting ready now. Here we go. Are right, you guys, I have my paperwork and I am ready to go. Let's do this. I am almost there. I'm getting very apprehensive. <laughs> I don't want it to have nasty side effects. <laughs> okay, I am here now and my dad's with me, so he drove me in case I had any immediate reactions. Didn't have an immediate reaction the last time, but the second dose is different from what I heard. Anyway, all right, I'm going in, you guys. See you afterwards. <laughs> Alright guys, I left the middle school and I got my vaccine dose two, so I am going to be vlogging this probably in the next couple of days, especially if there are any reactions. I will let you know how I react. I know that there are a lot of people out there that react differently, some not at all. I hope to be that not at all, but after my reaction to dose one, I think probably dose two I will have something. taking Tylenol, taking Advil, and just resting. Although at some point I may, I may cheat and try to take a power walk, but that's doubtful. Anyway, it's only, it's only 8.20. I'm gonna try to sleep a little bit longer. All right, it is 9.30 and I'm gonna try to force myself to get up. I'm gonna drink some coffee and see how much I can get done today. <laughs> Got my usual coffee set up and yeah, I'm gonna try to get as much done today as possible if I can, you know, it's all gonna depend on my energy right now. <laughs> I do want to get a haircut today though, so um, I'm gonna do it myself, but yeah, I need one badly. This has been my situation all afternoon. I fell asleep around 2.30 and it was 4.20 and I still can't get up. I did manage to go for a walk today and I walked about, I walked a good three and a half miles, um, but I just could not run. My energy was just drained and I'm, I'm just really feeling like the meteor hit me right now. Yeah, and as you can see, I have not cut my hair yet. I still have to do that. I was gonna do it right now, but I am having a difficult time peeling myself out of bed, so I will try and do that right now. And then I have to run a couple of errands. Um, tonight is Dungeons and Dragons night, and I'm going to try to at least, you know, at least survive an hour of it. Um, I mean, I, every, 
everybody's understanding. I know I could just cancel. They, you know, they know I got the second dose, but the thing is, is that I don't want to let it, you know, I don't want to let this, like, completely debilitate me right now, if you know what I mean? But I have decided that as far as my haircut goes, I'm just going to be completely lazy and I'm just going to buzz all of it off. I'm going to leave a little bit on the top, but I'm going to have it, you know, completely buzzed on the sides of the back. All right, here we go. I cut my hair last night. Good morning, everybody. It is 9 o'clock the next morning, and I'm feeling much, much better. Um, I didn't take any medication. I didn't take any um, Advil or anything like that before I went to bed, and I fell asleep at a pretty reasonable time around midnight and got up around 8 o'clock, and I feel, I feel pretty good, so feeling much better today. Today's gonna be a pretty big deal because now my mom is getting dose one of the vaccine. So we will be heading over to the pharmacy later today to, to get that done. And you know, hopefully her reactions won't be, you know, won't be too bad. Hey guys, so it is about 12.30, I am heading out. I, mom is gonna be getting her first dose of the vaccine, so we're gonna go over to the pharmacy. Pretty exciting. But yeah, it's 12.30, I took like one Advil um, this morning, and I'm feeling pretty good. Right before I went to bed last night though, I started getting chills and I started feeling really, really cold. So usually I stay up a little bit to watch TV, but I just went straight to bed. I was really tired too, so. Got pretty decent sleep and yeah, I'm just ready to kind of, you know, enjoy the day. It's supposed to get up to 60, so probably after the after she gets her vaccine, I'm gonna head over to the battlefield and go for a walk. Hey everybody, mom got vaccinated. I'm at the battlefield now and so I'm just gonna take a walk, um, just enjoy the day. I will be back at work tomorrow, so anyway, but yeah, just gonna take advantage of the day and just, um, yeah, pretty much lay low and take it easy. I'm at work now and yeah after dose two I had probably about two days worth of symptoms but I feel much better today definitely a lot more energetic and yesterday I only you know I only took like one Advil instead of two so um, yeah it really wasn't too bad for me thank goodness I told you a teacher friend of mine she was throwing up all day and I was like I don't want that <laughs> all right everybody I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog right here you all have a good one and I will see you all next time <laughs> Suddenly the sun goes up and I feel